Apsa tuwa di mangu be che umi ye ni jo kol be. I am just checking the focus here. Make sure it's in focus. Pami, full be bandirabe. Okay, let's just uh, go back and I should stop singing Hapsa to what the Mangu Beche Umiye ni Jokolbe. It's a it's a kind of uh, it's a song that uh, it's not for kids. Not that I'm saying that there's a lot of kids watching these things, but it's definitely not for kids. All right, so let's get to it. So I just wanted to do this uh, video very quickly. And I just wanted to say I really, 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 really appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting. Uh, it just gives me uh, more motivation to um, to come here and uh, uh, do a video for you guys. So I just wanted to go over some of the responses we get um, uh, on the pictures that I sent recently. So including the one with the eggs, you know. So we, we had a lot of um, discussions and comments on... Um, on the photo of the eggs where I ask uh, what do you call it in your country so I told you guys in Niger we call it Bopade okay Wapane is one Bopade is plural in Fulfulde and I think this is Fulfulde for anywhere in uh, in uh, in uh, in where Fulfulde is speaking or where Fulfulde is spoken rather if you hear the a word ending with de or ne it's one okay it just means one thing like Wapane Okay, la morde. Okay, like that sound, de or ne, or I don't know what else to say as an example. And then if you heard de, like that, you know, de, or e, like that sound, that's like plural. So, wopane, bopate. De is plural. Alright, so that's how we say it in Niger. So, here, Anas Ibrahim from Bauchi State, Nigeria said uh, Bochode. Okay, a lot of people said Bochode. So I think the, the word for, 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 for that is Bochode. We're going to have to agree on that. Even though in Niger, Bochode also means testicles, right? A man's testicle is called Bochode. I don't know what you call that in your country, but is that also Bochode? I don't know. Uh, you're going to have to uh, write in the comment and, and tell me. Um, and it makes sense. I think Bochode would make sense because... The testicles is named after the eggs. It's like, you know, I think, I think what I'm saying makes sense. So also somebody comment, commented, you know, when I said wopade or bopade or wopane is, is how we call it in Niger. Because kowopa, kowopa uh, or bopol is to throw away, right? Kowopa is something that's thrown away. So wopane is something that's thrown away. Like an egg, wochone uh, wopane. So like the thrown away egg i think that's how we get the wapane thing but chone wapane so like the thrown away like uh like for us we are thinking that they, they when the chicken gave uh laid the egg not gave birth to the egg when the chicken laid the egg for us people full we thought we think oh the chicken just threw it away whoopee gorto gal gal or gero gal gal or chofal gal whoopee or chone okay it's like he's threw it away he doesn't want it but the reality is, it just it that it doesn't want it. So for us, the way we're using it, wapane, is not correct because the chicken did not throw it away. Even though we like to believe that, so that we can take it and eat it. All right. So that's how it is, and the screen keep going away. So wapane, bopade, that's the same thing in Niger. Okay. And some people are arguing that's that's not correct in uh, in uh, in Benin. Uh, uh, bopade or bochode is also used in, in in Benin, which is correct. All right. Um, so, I have somebody here from Guinea. He's saying Bofo, which is short for Bofore or Bofoje. Bofore or Bofoje. So, again, if you hear J is plural, if you hear that E sound, like a word end with E, like here, Bofore is R E, so it's one. A J is, um, is, um, is plural, even though J is written with e here also so it's complicated but you just have to hear it that's why sometimes it's very hard to to write it correctly and people asking me can you please write the fulfill the correctly there's no correct way to write it as far as i'm concerned because i don't know the correct way to learn it but i'm willing to learn okay so guinea is 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 both bofo bofore or bofoje somebody said guinea futa jalo labbe also is wofonde uh, bofonde uh, Bofote 
is plural a bofonde is um is um bofonde is plural a wofonde is singular right so ibrahim garan garanta jallo uh wofonde is singular bofonde plural that's guinea fulfill the guinea and you know why that's not correct? I mean, it's correct because that's how people use it there. That's how people say it. So it's correct. There's no incorrect way. And nobody can come to you and say you talking incorrectly because it's your culture. It's your region. You talk the way you talk. But bofol is like when the chicken is actually covering the eggs. So chicken lays eggs over maybe 15 days, right? I don't, I don't exactly remember. I used to have chicken actually. So I don't remember how long they take to lay the eggs. But once they finish, in, finish laying the eggs, and maybe they have 12 eggs, 15 eggs, now they will, um, they will cover the eggs, right? For like maybe 50, uh, 30 days, I think. I think it was 30 days or 45 days. I don't remember. So they will cover the egg and keep the eggs warm. And then that's how the egg hatch, hatch, right? And give those chicks those little baby chicken which is called which are called uh, chicks so bofol is like is like the fact of covering those eggs so bofon is like maybe the egg that is covered but not the eggs that before it was covered and this is don't quote me that this this is not a scientific way or a, a correct way this is just i'm just using my imagination the way the reason why people say bofon or bofon is because the, the chicken is covering them, right? So uh, for me, it's like when this chicken start covering them, that's when they become bofone. But before that, it's bochone. When the chicken cover it, it's become bofone because now you cannot eat it anymore, right? You cannot boil it and eat it because there may be a chicken inside, inside of it. It's not, it's not, you cannot eat it anymore. And then after that, they hatch. We in Gortogal or Gerogal or Chofalgal, Tonyi. Tonyol is to hatch. That's when the eggs breaks and opens and then the, um, the chick comes out of it. So my Guinea friend, that's what it is. Another Senegal, Wofonde or Bochonde. So in Senegal, it's the same thing. Bochonde or Wofonde, that's for one. Uh, that's Senegal. Mauritania is similar to Senegal. Um, uh, Ba Alpha. Galija, Bochonde, Bochonde, Mauritania. Okay, same thing, so that's correct. All right, here's the interesting one. Amir Sudais. I think, uh, yeah, Amir Sudais from, uh, from, from, from Lady Cameroon. He said the, may va the name vary depending on the region, right? So, um, they can say Yenere. Yenere. Jenul. Yenere. Okay, that's a very interesting, interesting one. Yerande. Dene. Okay. Uh, Dene. I don't know. I never heard of that. Yerande. I don't know why they would call it Yerande. I, I don't know the meaning. But Yenere. General is like to have intercourse, like sexual intercourse. That's why general. So yener is like after the rooster have intercourse with the chicken and they get an egg and they call it yener because it's a it's a it's a fruit of the general. So in in Niger anyway, general is like when you sleep with a man, sleep with a woman, you say oyenimo, right? So yener is like something that come from that uh, thing. So Yener may, you know, I mean, that's how I can explain it. But if you guys have better explanation, please let us know because uh, that's how we all learn, right? Uh, Bochode also is used in Cameroon. Okay, he said there's also a town where they just say Gerade, Gerade, Gerade. Um, um, Central Africa also they use Lalare and Yerade. So Yerad, 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 is, Yerad it look like a, a, it looks like a, a combination between Gerard and and Yena Yena Yenere. So you get Yerade. <laughs> so that's the egg in uh, in Central Africa. Lalare. So Lalare, I can say is not correct because Lalal or Lalagal for us is like the shell of the egg, right? So when you crack the egg, the shell is Lala Lalagal. Or la la, so la la is like the cracked egg, not the egg before is uh, is cracked. So those is those are just uh, the nuances that I think are inter interesting. Uh, in Sudan, so Sudan, Cameroon, Central Africa, or Central Africa, they all say la la so which is like the shell for um, for um, for us, um, you know. So I can go on and on. Yerande. Uh, also is also used in in Adamawa, Lalaje and Daura in Katsina, Lalaje. Okay, we already talked about that. 
uh, side giallo singular bofond a plural bofond i am assuming this is uh, uh, he said this is burkina faso the pays des hommes intègres yes uh, ibrahim traoré arrière arrière uh, inspiration de du capitaine thomas sankara la patrie una ou la mort nous vaincrons ok burkina faso uh, they say bofond eh? Or bofold. Again, bofold is like to cover the egg, so unless it's covered, it's not going to become bofold, as far as I'm concerned. But we're just having a, a friendly discu discussion here. Mauritania is bochone, bochode. Okay, Hamidu ba, Hamidu hamma ba, lobade, lobade. Where in Niger? I'm from Niger. Where in Niger? Bopade, not lobade. Did you make a mistake or did you really write bopade? Because I never heard of that. And I live 26 years in Asia. I never heard lopade. Lopade, lopol is like when you, when you um, when you grind when you grind something like unduga lopol, but not lopade. No, it makes no sense to me. But hey, maybe another region of Asia. Wachod in Gambia. Banjul, yes, I had a friend from Gambia who visited me in Asia. His name was Alpha Umar Jallo, and uh, and uh, what is the other one name? Eh? Alpha Kadijalo and then I forgot the other one name. Alpha Kadijalo. They work at a at the airport agreement with the airport and aviation. They're like meteor people, right? The, the weather, weather people. Anyways, that was just a parenthesis. Fulfill the Nigeria Adamawa Yola Gerade. Gerard, I have to tell you something about Gerard. Okay. Uh Gerard Gerald. Gerald is a type of bird uh, that you find in Niger and that you find in, in the Sahel. It's, we call it Gerard. It's a small bird. You find it in the bush. It's not domesticated. It's not uh, in the home. So Gerald, what pani mood no be a Gerard? Fami. So the eggs of the Gerald can be Gerard, but Gerard as an egg of every other bird. No, 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 no. But please don't curse me and don't, 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 um, don't scorn me in the comment because I think we're just having fun. But Gerald is, is a bird and Gerard will be the, the egg for that bird, not for the chicken, for, for instance. But, you know, who am I to correct how you say things? I'm just saying what I think. Dene, no, Dene, Dene is Tom, Dene is this guy, Abdullah Idris Fullo, Fullo, he writes Fullo, so that's how you know they speak Hausa. Fullo, Fullo. It's, uh, it's Pullo or Pullo, it's Pullo, not Hullo. When you hear somebody say hullo, they speak Hausa and they speak English. Uh, Dene uh, in Jigawa State, Northern Nigeria. Dene is something totally, completely different. Rendere or Dene is like a melon. Like it looks like an egg, right? It's a melon. So for the chicken to get a Dene is very interesting for me. But that's how you say it. That's how you say it. So we all agree on that. Lalaje. Lalaje in Yobe, Nigeria. Yeah, again, lalal is like the shell. It's the egg of the, the shell of the egg. So once you once you break it, it becomes lalaje. But before you break it, it's not lalaje. Gerade or plural uh, or dene for singular Adamawa state. We again we see the dene <laughs> in Adamawa state. That's cool. Bochode. Um, this is what Sokoto bochode bochone. So even in Nigeria, they have gerade. They have lala. Yeah, they have. A, Nigeria and Cameroon is like have the most name. I guess they have the most full bay also, so that makes sense. Gerade, uh, uh, Adamawa State. Gerade, uh, Taraba, Nigeria. Ger uh, Kerade, Yola. So, Kerade, 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 Keroa. I don't know why, why would it be Kerade, but hey, watch out in Kumasi, Ghana. My Ghana people, man, I love you. You guys are very polite. I never seen some people so polite like people in Ghana. I met them in in uh, in Qatar. They they cannot talk to you without saying sir or please. Everything you ask them a question, they say please. Even if they don't have to say please, they say please. You say you ask them, for example, you ask a guy from Ghana, where is the bus station? He says over there, please. What is the please for? What is your name, sir? My name is uh, Abu Bakar Siddiqu. Please. <laughs> what is the please for the people of Ghana? You guys are cool. I love you. And uh, okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Gembu Plateau is that I'm assuming this is Nigeria also, Gerade. And plural Bofori. Okay, if you don't say your country, then I cannot mention it. All right, keep going. Bopade. Hey, bottom line is I'm tired. Bochode is the word for eggs. 
I rest my case. Uh, I don't want to drag the video. Actually, that's the end of the video. So yeah, because I end with Bliss Buddy Fernandez. I like his name, Mem Ochore. And I'm assuming he's from a Portuguese or Spanish-speaking Pulo. Maybe Guinea Equatorial, Equatorial Guinea. No, not Equatorial Guinea. Uh, what do you call that? Guinea Bissau. Yes, Guinea Bissau. Bliss Buddy Fernandez. Nice name. Nice name. Lalaje Bauchi, Nigeria. Yes, in Nigeria we had one guy, we call him Hama Bauchi. He was a butcher. He kills the, the goat and the lamb and then he grill it. Hama Bauchi, that was his job. I guess I never knew why they call him Bauchi until I grew up and I learned that Bauchi is a place in Nigeria. But ladies and gentlemen, I think um, that's the end of the comment. Now we all know that if we, we travel our, across Africa, we know how to uh, refer to eggs. I thank you very much and uh, peace and love and unity. I love you a lot, I love you too much. And I'm gonna stop this thing because uh, it's already stopped. Great. Anyways, I'm not gonna do it over again.